All right, friends, I've made it to the cruise port. I'm about to get on the deck, so let's start the cruise vlog. I have so much stuff with me. Okay, so essentially you walk in to the grand atrium and everyone's kind of in here now. I don't think our rooms are ready. I remember when we did this Norwegian Gem Cruise in 2015, there's a bar right when you walk in. Just, it was so crowded because everyone, I don't think anyone knew to just keep going, keep walking throughout the ship. So like I said, I don't think the rooms are ready. So I might be carrying my stuff for a little while longer. I timed this perfectly so loud in here. I just sat down, like I just got here. There's an announcement going on, our staterooms are ready. So I don't have to hang out in here too long. Our rooms are ready. Okay, I just used six minutes of my 150 minutes of my Wi-Fi package trying to get a video up. It's not happening. So you're gonna see a bunch in succession, but uploading on the ship is just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna head to my room, drop off all this stuff. Hopefully my other two bags are there. Um, and then we're gonna hit the bars. Okay, lucky me, I'm the first door right outside of the staircase, so I won't get lost. Let's... Oh God. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's get the light on. Oh God, it's dark. Okay, so this is what, an inside room, $499, maybe even cheaper than that. So actually, I don't mind the shape of this. It's completely different from the last time I had an inside room. So we have the bed here little TV, somewhere to sit, closet back here, a mirror, and then a bathroom. And not a bad size, okay, not bad. Like I said, this is the first room right when you get off of the staircase. So that is really good for me because last time I had an inside room, it was like a maze. There was an inside and then there was an inside to the inside and that's where I was, so very hard to get to. So very happy about this because I get so lost. The two other times I've been on a cruise ship, very confusing for me. So I lucked out this time. So there is a Norwegian app that I used last time. It was very helpful and you can use it offline. It has like the schedule for the day. You can book um, excursions and stuff, but it's not working for me. I tried it at home with good functioning Wi-Fi, wasn't loading. Tried it here, not working. So I think I'm gonna go to guest services and see if they can help me out. It's not a huge loss if I can't get it working, but it was very helpful last time. Okay, I was like, let's get the light switch for the bathroom. Let's figure out where that is before I get drunk. So updated view of the bathroom. Again, for an inside cabin, like I was expecting to be squished in here. There's a pretty good size shower. I will say on the breakaway, my inside cabin bathroom was a little bigger, but again, this is still a lot bigger than expected. And honestly, my first cruise ever, all three Miller kids were in a room this size. It was like bed, bed, bunk bed, and I was on the bunk bed. Um, so having this to myself, luxurious. So like I said, I'm gonna hit the bar. While you're in port in New York, you are gonna pay New York taxes on these drinks. It's only gonna be like 80 cents. Um, so I don't mind spending that, knowing how much money I'm gonna spend throughout the next nine days. Actually, most of it is all inclusive. Knowing how much money I'm gonna spend at Disney, you know, 80 cents, I can do that. But while you're in port, especially in New York, you will pay taxes on your drinks. There's already a guy in the hot tub, good for him. Okay, the sun is directly in my eyes. I've got my first drink of the trip, a tequila ginger, so cheers. Okay, I put the question out on my Instagram of drink recommendations and Megan said amaretto sour, so that's next. All right, my friends, what kind of plus size channel would I be if I didn't hit the buffet within the first two hours? Okay, plate one is literally pure slop and some prime rib. Okay, I just ate and now we're pulling out of New York. I think over my shoulder is the Statue of Liberty and Southern Manhattan. OK, 
Okay, we're going under the Veranzano Bridge any second now. Okay, I just got back from dinner. So I went to the solo cruiser meeting and oh, what was his name? The man running it, like he has a hoarse voice and he's like, Shannon, can you just announce we're going to dinner? So I'm like, everybody, it's time for dinner. Like I had to be the loud bitch and that's usually my job in any given room. So it was me and now everyone knows who I am. So yeah, all the solo cruisers went to dinner together. There was like 40 people, so it was broken up, but I ended up at a great table one of the men at my table was a Hollywood stunt double. So if you're a little older, he was um, Murdoch on the A-Team. He was his double, but he was just like naming off names in movies. We were like, oh my God. Um, and like stuff he's done, like driving a van through glass, like all this stuff. So cool. So you never know who you're going to meet. Um, I am running into a little issue. My suitcase never made it to my room. It's like 9 p.m. right now. My carry-on made it, and I checked that when I got to the cruise port, but my big thing of luggage is not here. So I'm gonna go to guest services now um, and try and get that sorted out. I'm hoping it's not sitting on the dock in New York, but I think I can manage with like the sweatpants and uh, I think I have like a t-shirt stuffed in there. Like if it really came down to it, I think I can do it, but like, to not have clothes for nine days. So yeah, I'm gonna go ask about that. There is like a little game show um, in the lounge and I love a cruise ship game show, the best, um, but I am so tired. So I think since I'll be out anyways, I'll go to the game show, but I'm not going out dancing tonight. I love to get drunk and dance, but tonight's not the night. Crisis averted. Part of me is like, did I give them the wrong room number? But that's right. I think they just didn't want to carry it over here. But I was like, if it's really lost, I would be shit out of luck because like where else would you get one clothes and two plus size clothes so thank god it was there all right i feel like since i'm up and i'm moving around let's go to the game show but then i'm sleeping no alarm no windows very dark room i better sleep for like 12 hours i was like why are all these old men being really nice to me and then you realize <laughs> Good morning. It is our first at sea day. I tried to sleep in. My body woke me up at like 5.30 and then I just kind of like laid in bed. So I was resting, but it wasn't, I wasn't in a REM and that's what I'm looking for. But I have eight more nights to try and get a full night's sleep. Trying to take advantage of not having a dog in the small of my back or in between my legs at all times. So trying to get a good night's sleep. So I did something I never do on vacation. I like fully unpacked because my suitcase is just too big to open up anywhere. So took everything out, hung it up. I do have all my um, packing cubes. So this is workout clothes, swimsuits, pants. Um, and I think I have one of like bras, a little thing of socks. So everything is categorized. Um, will it stay like this? Absolutely not, but unpacked to the best of my abilities. Yes, I'm gonna have a mess everywhere I go, but everything's out of their bags. So while I've been up this whole time, like I said, I have been resting and we um, went an hour ahead. So it's 11 o'clock right now. I had plans in my head to go to breakfast, do a hot girl walk, get in the hot tub. You know what, I'm on vacation time. So I'm gonna do like a lap around the ship, get some lunch, um, see what the weather's like. You know what, even if it's cold, I'll probably still go in the hot tub um, and then another solo meetup tonight at five. Last night went really well, so I'm gonna do it again. I do have to look at the excursions for Bermuda tomorrow. I still haven't booked anything and we're going tomorrow. So I'm gonna look at the thing again um, and just book it in person on the ship. But also last night, that last man standing game show. So it was basically like a this or that, but it was like trivia, like is a tomato considered a fruit or a vegetable? So, you know, 50 people will line up and say fruit and they get to stay in the game and whoever said vegetable has to leave so i watched around and it was like again like 50 people and they had to go through like 10 questions to still weed people out and then some woman won and then i was like i'll join the next game very first question it's like which singer's real name is anna may 50 people get on the side of joan jett me and four other people say tina turner completely wiped out 50 people in the first question. And thank you to the Tina Turner Broadway show for educating me that Tina Turner's real name is Anna Mae. So um, 
first round, it's down to four people. Um, we play like two more rounds and then I get out on a question of like, some something in Italian. It's like, does this word mean very soft or very loud? And I don't know Italian, so I lost, but it was fun to hop in and completely wipe the floor on the first question with people. But other than that, the ship is truly rocking and rolling. Like you, I'm feeling it. Also, my TV does not work. Not a huge deal. You're not in the room too much, but I do like to fall asleep to noise. So I, I just had my thoughts last night. So we're going to head out, explore the ship, book an excursion, and eat a hot dog. So there's a 24-7 bar on board called Oshihans. Get it? If you say it fast, it's Oceans. So it has all pub food and it's great for like late night drunk food. Today I had lunch there, so I had pretzel bites and a Reuben. It's right in the middle of the ship, so you get to see all the action. And there's also a water view. Then I went out onto the pool deck. It was pretty nice, not like crazy hot weather, but it was nice enough to hang out outside. They were handing out fruit. I was drinking tequila, good vibes all around. Then I get pulled into the pool deck game. So today was a scavenger hunt. All right, friends, it's like 4 p.m. I still have not booked anything for Bermuda tomorrow. I'm gonna run down right now and book like a bike tour or something. I gotta get out, you know? Um, but I ended up spending most of my day on the pool deck and then Wilson, the cruise director, and he's also like the solo cruiser director, he's like, we're gonna play a, a deck game. Come play, come play, we need 10 people. So I go up, it's a scavenger hunt. And the first question is like, you can grab anyone who's on the pool deck, but like grab a book. So you run out into the crowd, grab a book, run out into the crowd, grab sunscreen. There's one, it's like, grab a bra. And I'm like, I'm here, here. He's like, no, you have to take it off. So in front of the entire, anyone who's on the pool deck, I take my bra off and I'm whipping it around. The crowd loses their minds. Wilson then puts on my bra. Wait, he put on someone else's bra and he goes, I've always wanted to wear a D. So I'm like, I'm a D. So he puts on my bra. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that happened. And then I finally get out. I think I'm down to like the final four and I get out cause like I needed like sunglasses and someone cut me off. Um, but then everyone I saw throughout the day was like, you're the one who took her bra off. You were hilarious. So I think I'm now known as bra girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone did run up to me because I was like, my bra is off. And she's like, here's my towel. And I'm like, I'm fine. She's like, oh, you're free balling it. And I'm like, I am free balling it. You got to do what you got to do for a cruise ship game. But the final round was grabbing a man and then dressing him up as a woman. And the girl who I was standing next to most of the game, I'm like, okay, I'm like team Boston now. She dressed her guy up very well. So she won. Very proud of her. Three, Woo! Two. One. Yeah. I'm gonna do a fashion show for everybody. This is right. So three, two, one. Messi Albert from Canada. What's her name again? Antoinette. So, so guys, put your hands together for Antoinette in fashion show. I then sat down back in my seat um some guy who was at the solo cruiser you know meeting last night he sat next to me and then we were hanging out and then we he's like i want to dance so he grabbed like a bunch of other old ladies i know people don't like when i say old ladies but like he grabbed some other old ladies we were all dancing then i ended up talking to this woman cheryl and her husband like hours taking shots drinking I've found my people. So um, again, we're all gonna find each other at 9.15 in the club. It's Latin night. It's Latin night, but it's also 70s night. So I'm planning on wearing a feathered dress. We will see, but like that's the plan. So now I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in a nap. Probably not, but I wanna paint my face, curl my hair. I'm gonna put on like a regular clothes for dinner. I'm gonna go to the solo meetup again. Um, but then for the party tonight, again, I want to wear something fun. So I have 
two feather dresses. I think I know which one I want to wear, but we'll see what I end up with. But like, I'll wear something regular to dinner. And then I want to get like a comedy show in and then dancing and I'm going to need an espresso martini to have the energy to do all that tonight. So luckily there's a martini bar on board. So I got myself hooked up. Ooh, baby. So this Abercrombie traveler dress is a little too short for dinner, but I'm going to throw on a denim jacket over it. And this will be the good base for not that feather jacket, but this feather dress. Um, like I said, it's 70s night. So I think I'm just going to go all out. And again, this is mesh, so it'll be see-through. So I need something new under it. So this has shorts and the teeny tiniest dress. Ugh. Yeah, I feel a little, a little too underdone, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. So this and a denim jacket for dinner. Then I'm gonna come back, change into that, and go to the club. So we'll see how that works out. Lord of the Rings. Lords of the Rings. Okay, since the whole ship knows me as bra woman, it's time to come out as feather lady. So I'm wearing the most ridiculous outfit I can truly think of. I still have the Abercrombie dress base on and then this feathered frock going for me. It's 70s night. I highly doubt anyone will be as dressed up as I am, but... If you're going on a cruise, you got to go all out. So we're wearing the feathers. I'm going to leave a trail of breadcrumbs behind me. Like I will be shedding everywhere, but this is the look for the night. Guys, the looks I am getting, the cheers I got in the atrium. I look insane. Okay, it's 12.30 now. I have the bike tour at 10 a.m. I just shut down the dance floor and this number, literally, okay, I started off the day as bra girl. Now everyone knows me as feather woman. So finding a new identity, but this was a huge hit. Literally everyone is coming up to me. People are taking creeper pictures of me from afar and then coming up to me being like, I have a picture of you. So the dress is a hit and I will be hungover for my bike tour tomorrow.